Hi guys, Mon. welcome back to my channel. My name is Nefi and today's video is about online classes. I attended online classes for my master's degree. So with my master's degree, there were 12 classes. All 12 classes were online only. I did not have to go to campus at all, thank God. Um, so I will kind of go into why I chose online classes instead of campus and just my experiences and some tips. There are definitely more tips that I will give in this video. So if you guys do want more tips, just let me know in the comment section below. So as far as for my decision for taking online classes for online, I chose that because I have a full-time job. So I work 40 hours a week. I chose it because mainly pretty much for that. I knew myself, I know myself, and I know that me going to a classroom for like two and a half three hours after working eight hours i just would not be at my best i would not be able to focus pay attention i would be tired it just i know it wouldn't work out well for me and of course too coming from working class and then going to home to just you know get to homework that just would have been insane so definitely you know it just depends on what your life looked like and what you prefer um, as far as from my experience at my school, I had a pretty good experience. My professors, um, I was able to reach them. They had a 24 hour response time. So if I emailed them or if I called them and I didn't get them, then within 24 hours, they would definitely give me a call back, email me or like video chats. They had those. So I had a great experience. There are two common ways that, um, students are able to take online classes. So. There are some schools that may have you attend class at a specific time, even though it's still online, they might want you to log in, let's say, I don't know, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. They want every student to be logged into their class, into their portal, what they will say. So, um, and also to, depending on which school, they might use different setup for their classes. So for my school, we use Blackboard. So Blackboard is pretty common because I noticed they use that both at um, at two of my schools, the school that I went for my bachelor's and the school that I got my master's, they both use Blackboard um, to set up their classes. So that's what I would log into um, for my class. I only took one class at a time for my master's, which also most schools, they give you that option on if you would like to take one class, two. I don't know if some, as far as graduate level, if they may offer three or four classes at the, at the same time. I'm not sure. But for my school that I attended, it was either one every two months or two every two months. So which would equal four every semester if I was going like full time. But for me, I just did one every two months. So that equal to two classes per semester for me. And if your school allows it, you can, let's say, enroll, start classes for just one, see how it goes. And then if you feel like you're able to handle the one pretty well that you feel like you can do two, then okay. All right. So now when it comes to online classes, um, like I said, you can attend a school that may require for you to attend at a specific time, even though it's online. Or you can have it where, as my school, where pretty much you just logged in whenever. You it could be 10 p.m. at night. That's fine. As long as you submit your assignments by the due date, um, and the requirement also was to log in on three different days a week, then you're fine. So I choose chose my days, my three days, and of course I just made sure I submitted my assignments on time. Now. Some schools, they might also require you to attend live chat ses sessions. For me, most of my classes didn't require that. As even my last class, even though it was more of a requirement, I say requirement because it still wasn't. It just, she would really say, okay, it really helps to attend the live chats, which it did. Um, but if I wasn't able to, it, there was no penalty. It wasn't taken off my grade. So it's just really recommended, but it wasn't mandatory for me to do those live chats. So all in all for me, attending online classes at my school, it was great. Again, the teachers were awesome. They were able to really help me. I've had one who helped me with my APA writing, which I still struggle <laughs> with that till this day. Um, but he was able to spend 40 hours on the phone with me, assisting me. And he would have stayed longer, honestly, if I didn't have to go. At that time, I had to get off the phone but 
they were all very super super helpful and I'll mention this briefly in case there are viewers that actually haven't been to college yet at all um, so as far when it comes to campus campus of course when you go to a campus school you have to be in that classroom at a specific day and time and yeah you for the most part professors will take off from your grade if you do not attend so attendance does matter and it does you know affect you and not only affect your grade but of course just you and your knowledge for that class so if you are taking school seriously you do want to attend so when it comes for me when i was receiving my bachelor's degree i all my classes were on campus there were a few that did half online but it wasn't like majority of it so if it did a little bit of online it was mainly to just okay do this one assignment like one percent of that class was online so now with campus um for me i attended um my school three days out of the week and in those three days i did uh, i always took four classes every semester at the same time for my bachelor's so um i went to campus for three days out of the week and i would pretty much be there the whole day because i had four classes so that was tiring and then i was working part-time back then so it wasn't as crazy but it was still tiring because my school was 45 minutes from me so you just have to just again look at your situation like for me i was working part-time um and i was scared of online <laughs> because i just thought i wouldn't do well so it wasn't an option for me back then but working full-time now i'm going for to grad school i was like okay there's just no no I need online so I just went head in and it came out great like it wasn't scary like I thought it was number one thing when you're looking for colleges you definitely want to make sure that your school is accredited when I was going for my bachelor's and my associates I had no idea what that was it wasn't something I was looking for as checking when I was looking for schools no but it is very important and when it comes to accreditation, um, when it comes to regional accreditation, um, it just mainly it's easier to transfer your credits to whatever school you're transferring to. And so you just want to make sure you look at that as well. Are they accredited? You do not want to go to a school where you're wasting your time and money and you cannot transfer your credits. And even if you think that, okay, this is it, I'm just going to get my bachelor's or I'm just going to get my associates and that's it. Um, that doesn't matter no just make sure they're accredited so that way you know your credits are good to go and you're not going to run into any problems online classes they had um there's something called discussions so this discussion is pretty much like participation i guess you could say i know a lot of other schools have discussions as well but i don't know how it's set up with other schools but with my school the discussion pretty much is each week there will be a question provided to you as a student by your professor so you would log in go into week one so at least for me with my class setup since each class was um two months so it'd be week eight weeks so week one through eight will be on the side i would see it so you go into week one for example and you would see okay week one discussion week one discussion will have a question for you and you will write an answer <laughs> to that discussion that's simple the question could be from the book it could be from an article that they want you to read it could be from a video something pertaining to the class that's helping you learn and you provide your opinion and pretty much most of the time they do want you to use sources as well sources is just simply going and finding credible articles or books whatever it may be websites that you are using to support your opinion so you would do that and for me that's something that, that was weekly that was like pretty much i guess you could say again participation so i would answer the question and then the other part of the requirement for discussion was i had to find two other students read their response to the question whatever i like and you want to hopefully a lot of time i appreciated having a lot of students in the classroom because when it comes to discussion sometimes it can be repetitive we all could have the same idea and I write the same answer then it's like okay what she said is pretty much what i said and how am i going to find something creative to respond to you know what i mean <laughs> that got frustrating because sometimes you have this so i appreciated when there was at least 10 people in the class so i can kind of find someone else like two other people that had different ideas that's like oh i like 
this okay I have something to say and then you just respond to it so that was something that was weekly along with my weekly paper my weekly paper for me was due every Sunday at midnight so you would have all week to get it done so really that was the two main things that I had to worry about my discussions and my weekly papers your papers could be when I first started it was three to five and then it went up to like five to six seven be on top of your game like I cannot stress this enough I give this as advice pretty much to anyone going to college um, just be on top of your game know your stuff like know your program and a lot of times especially me when I was first starting college back in 2008 I did not know really what I wanted to do I had an idea okay psychology I wanted to help people I love psychology classes which I do I love them I took as many as I could <laughs> as electives but you want to know as far as you're taking the correct classes like at least just have an idea even if you're not completely 100% sure that this is what you want have an idea and also to the first two years you're mainly taking general classes meaning general education classes like your math your science your English your computers your speech communication classes so mainly that's what you're taking the first year and a half two years so make sure you're taking that and find their audit sheets their audit sheets pretty much each program has an audit sheet so it shows you how many credits it takes to complete this degree and what the classes are required like what classes are required for this degree so that's available and as much as you want to talk to your advisors to just get more information do your own research as well I cannot stress that enough do your own research um, because you don't want someone else to just take charge completely this is your time spending in school and this is your money even if you're taking out loans and you feel like oh hey uh, you know it's gonna be years before I start paying it this again trust me those years fly by and then if you let's say take too much out or you just wasted time and money and classes that you didn't need you're gonna feel it and you're going to regret that so definitely do your research yes listen to your advisor as well talk to them if you want more information but definitely do your own research as well the internet is free the information is on there and honestly even for me like I've been to school and I actually work at a school as well so if you have any questions any one of you guys that's watching and you are getting ready to go back to school this August or this summer um, let me know if you have questions or if you want me to make video of something you want more information on let me know if I don't know the information I can easily find out I value education it is very important to me um, no matter what level you want to go and stop at that's fine but I do value it that's something that they cannot take away from you yes it can be pricey at times but at the end of the day it I saw the change I saw the uh, my investment pay <laughs> so um, yes so that's a little advice section um, so it's just really about timing whether you're attending online or campus honestly it's when it comes to organizing yourself and just being good with time that's for any school whether it's high school college and especially college because you're doing this for you no one forcing you to go to college you know what I mean and life happens it does so try your best when you're able to now let's run down again with the tips so you guys can remember because I feel like I kind of went all over the place with my advice and experience um so number one when you're choosing a school whether it's campus or online you want to make sure it's accredited and doing your own research not just link listening to your advice just really seeing what works for you because there's different type of online classes so reading and doing your own research to really see what will work for you in your life definitely remember to leave comments if you do have any more tips for the viewers that they can read about college or online classes or anything and that is all see you guys in the next video bye